Sino nga ba ang ating pambansang bayani? Sino nga ba si Jose Rizal? Ano ba ang kanyang buhay? Ano ba ang mga nagawa niya? Nandito kami upang magbigay ng aral at aming mga natutunan sa kanyang buhay. Naganda kami ng trivia at facts tungkol sa kanya. Number 1 Did you know that Rizal has a monument as a child in his family home in Calamba, Laguna? Number 2 Did you know that Jose Rizal, the National Hero of the Philippines, has various monuments on different countries around the world? This includes Spain, the United States, Japan, Canada, China, South Korea, and several others. This monument serves as a testament to his influence around the world. Number 3 Did you also know that he once made a joke that when he who does not know how to look back at where he came from will never get to his destination? Number 4 There are rumors that Rizal was a playboy having a lot of girls mentioned in his autobiography. And until now, many believe that he really had a lot of girlfriends. But the truth is that he only had few real relationships. The other girls were just friends and some were just plain friends. Number 5 To be fair, Rizal was never a drug addict. However, that did not stop him from trying. For the sake of science. Number 6. Rizal had a third and finished novel, known among historians as Makamisa. This unfinished work was started by Rizal in Hong Kong in 1892. Number 7. Did you know, Pashano Rizal, Jose Rizal's elder brother, played a pivotal role in Jose's life. He not only served as a father figure but also instilled in Jose the importance of human liberty justice and good governance using the unjust execution of the Gomburza as a lesson number eight did you know Jose Rizal had a diverse cultural heritage including Malay Chinese Japanese and Spanish words. number nine did you know the Rizal's family surname Mercado has an interesting origin it was derived from their Chinese ancestral surname Lampo The Chinese surname was transformed into Mercado, which means market in Spanish. This name change reflects the family's independent spirit and their choice not to follow the typical money-making pursuits of Chinese immigrants during the Spanish colonial era. Number 10 In 1887, Rizal's first novel, No Limit on Heren, meaning Touch Me Not, sparked national awakening and resistance in the Philippines. Number 11 In 1891, he released El Filibusterismo, meaning the reign of greed in English, a sequel to No Limit on Hurry, addressing social and political issues under Spanish colonial rule. Number 12. Results farewell poem, No Ultimo Adios, meaning My Last Farewell in English, reflects his life, love for his nation, and acceptance of his impending death, showcasing Filipino patriotism and eliciting strong emotions. Number 13. Jose Rizal was widely featured in cigarette wrappers. Most of these wrappers made with art deco or art nouveau designs were produced in Binondo during the turn of the century. Number 14 The Luneta Rizal monument was made by a foreigner. Richard Gisling, a Swiss sculptor, came in second place in 1907. Art contest to identify the best scale model for future Rizal monument. It was Kisling who came up with the design. Number 15 Jose Rizal is regarded by many as the father of Philippine comics because of some humorous illustration he made in Germany. Number 16 Did you know Jose Rizal was executed on December 30, 1896 in Luneta Park, a park in Manila now known as Rizal Park. Number 17 Did you know Jose Rizal was a highly educated and multilingual individual? He was proficient in over 20 languages, including Spanish, English, French, German, and several Philippine languages. Number 18. Here are some connections and topics discussed about Rizal. Pedro Pablo Pelaez favored the rights for Filipino clergy during the 19th century and was one of the few to start advocating for the secularization movement. Number 19. The three Filipino priests who were executed in 1872 during the Spanish colonial era are known as Gumbursa. 
They were Mariana Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora. Number 20. Dr. Jose Rizal was greatly influenced by Gomez's death. As a result, he dedicated his book Al Filibusterismo in honor of this great priest. Number 21. The execution of Gumbrisa fueled the nationalism of the Filipino people and it eventually led demands for independence from Spanish authority. Number 22. While results ultimate fall was Philippine independence, he initially advocated for reforms within the Spanish colonial system. He believed that these reforms would lead to a more just and equal society. Number 23. Rizal was not only active in the Philippines but also abroad. He was a member of the propaganda movement in Europe and used his writings to raise awareness about the plight of Filipinos and gain international support for their cause. Number 24 There are rumors that Rizal's book entitled El Filibusterismo was inspired by Alexander Dubas' novel The Count of Monte Cristo, considering that it was actually one of Rizal's favorite stories. Some even says that Rizal plagiarized it. Number 25 During his exile in the Pitan, he was able to establish a school where he had 20 pupils who were never asked to pay for tuition, but was required by Rizal to work for the community. During the class discussion, when his students couldn't answer his questions correctly, he would jokingly pinch his students. Number 26 on the night before his execution, Rizal placed unidentified papers in his pockets and shoes. He did this believing that after his execution, his body would be given to his family. Number 27 Rizal founded a civic organization called La Liga Filipina in 1892, which aimed to unite Filipinos and promote civic consciousness and reform. Number 28 Rizal gave education the same value as liberty. It means that education is something that every man needs to live. Without education, human is helpless as a bird inside a cage. Number 29. Rizal has various of talents beside being a writer. He is also a doctor, polymath, an artist, sculptor, poet, and a skilled fencer. And lastly, number 30. Did you know that he had a good sense of humor and often used satire in his writings to subtly criticize the Spanish colonial authorities? Consumatum est, everyone.